Hello, here is Evandro, head of Mobile here in Lottie Files. I'm going to show you today how to use .lottie files in your iOS applications. If you go to lottiefiles.com and then you search for an animation or you can just choose one from, from the featured ones. And then when you hit download, now you can choose besides JSON file, you can also choose .lottie file, which you can see that is a lot smaller than a normal JSON file. I'm going to download one and I'm going to show you how to use it. I'm going to drag it to my desktop so I have it easy here. And then I'm going to, to start my Xcode project. I already have my Xcode project created. And what I'm going to do next is actually add the Lottie library to, to my uh, Xcode project. So I'm going to go to project and then package dependencies. And then I'm going to add a new dependency, which is git hub.com slash airbnb slash lottie ios which in my case i already had it here so just make sure that is uh 4.0 and plus uh up to next version and then add the package all right once we have the, the, the dependency loaded we can go ahead and go to view controller and we're going to add our animation view to the view so we're going to say let animation view equals to Lottie animation view. If it doesn't auto import, you can just say import at the top here, Lottie. Then you can say animation view dot loop mode is equal to loop. And we're going to actually set our view as animation view, but otherwise you can just add it as a sub view and add the constraints. Once you have done that, we're going to load our animation uh, to to this view because we downloaded it I'm going to drag it inside I'm going to select our project finish and then we have our giraffe in here you can remove this part here first and then uh, and then just uh, have the, the name uh, a little bit easier so we can use it once we have that we're going to load the animation so we're going to first get the URL for this bundle dot main.url for resource i'm going to get it as giraffe and then the extension as lottie and then you're going to load the dot lottie file the just type dot lottie file dot loaded from we're going to set the url that we have there it's optional so i'm going to force unwrap it for now and then i'm going to just uh, get the result in here. It's a switch, so I'm going to type switch result. Just get the automatic one. You can print the, the failure if you want, failure. And you can handle the, the success. Success is basically the, the, the dot lot animation already. So just say animation view dot load animation and then just add success. Once you have done that, just say animation view dot play. All right, let's see what happens. Let's play this animation. There we go. We have our dot animation running as we expected. Thank you for watching.